Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try to do a video on how I get glue out of doll hair and how I kind of try to stop glue in general from seeping out. So I was in the middle of doing a doll makeover video and this doll is um, Summer from Barbie Life in the Dream House. And she didn't have glue originally, but after I did a boil wash, I noticed all of this sticky gross stuff that had leaked out of her head. So I'm gonna try to see if I can fix that. So stay tuned. So as you can see, all along her scalp area, it's really stringy looking. It's kind of has that sticky tacky feel to it. And when you try to brush the hair, it just kind of stays where you leave it. So I guess if you're going for like a crazy look, it works. But in general, you really don't want glue all over your doll's head. Now you can actually leave the doll alone and eventually I guess the glue does make its way out. This can take a few years, so if you're not interested in waiting that long, um, this is just one method I've tried that seems to work. So I wanted to share it with you guys. It's kind of a combination of a few different methods I've seen already on YouTube. So the two things I'm going to be using is Goo Gone and Talc Powder. First we're going to start with the Goo Gone. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take Summer and add some of this Goo Gone liquid to her hair and work it into her scalp where the glue is seeping out from. Basically, Mattel sometimes fills these heads with glue, I guess, to prevent the hair um, plugs from falling out. But the problem is, is that it can leak and then it's gross and then your kids don't want to play with their dolls anymore. So I'm going to start by doing that. So I'm just going to pour some in. And just start working it in. Sorry for the bad lighting, guys. I'm not a professional <laughs> videographer, that's for sure. So it feels greasy, the actual stuff. It feels like an oil. And I don't know how it works, but it really does help to get this glue out. I'm just going to put a little bit more in. I should probably put this in a squirt bottle or something. I'm going to work it up into probably the middle of her hair. The ends of her hair are fine, but the glue has seeped quite a bit into her hair. Okay, so now that it's been worked in through her hair, I'm going to leave her for a little while. We just had a huge snowstorm, so I have to go outside and play with my 8-year-old. <laughs> so we will check in in a few. All right, we're back, and she's been soaking for a little while. Now I'm just gonna wash her hair. I'm using dish soap. You could probably use shampoo. Don't wanna waste water. Already her hair does feel a little better. I'm going to wash it again. Wow, the lighting on this video is horrible. Sorry, everyone. So each time, this is my third wash, and each time I wash it, it gets a little soapier. Now I'm going to add a little conditioner so we can comb it out easier. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so I really gently removed her head, and as you can see, there's a ton of gross glue all over the neck peg, and I prob we probably can't see anything in there, but this part of the head, I can see it without the camera, but you can see there's just yucky glue still in there. That's her earring, that white thing that you can see. But now we're going to put some of this talc powder. You could probably use baby powder as well um, to fill the head up so that it can absorb any other glue that's still in there. To do this, I'm just taking a scrap piece of paper and making a little funnel to stick inside the neck to pour the powder in, just like that. Okay, so we filled up her head with the powder and I put her head back on. Now I'm just gonna clean her up and I'm gonna let her dry. If you get a little talc powder in her hair, that's totally okay because that actually will also help to absorb any glue that is still in. So we're gonna go ahead and let her dry and see how she turned out. She may need another glue gone treatment because um, I don't know, I'm not totally confident that the one treatment fixed the problem yet, but we'll check back in. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did the goo gone one more time on her. I left it in her hair actually for a couple hours because I we had company, so I was sidetracked. But after that, I ended up washing her hair out again with dish soap. I washed it actually four times until it was really super sudsy. And then I put the conditioner in and I combed her out. So we'll see how she looks in the morning. Her earring's all wacky right now, but I'll fix that. But yeah, hopefully that got the glue out and hopefully by putting the powder inside of her head that helped to stop um, the glue from seeping. So we'll check in tomorrow. It's summer and she was the one that turned really uh, nasty after I boil washed her. All this glue started leaking out of her head. So I used my um, de-glue-ifying method thing and she looks amazing now. Her hair looks so good. Um, I can't feel any more glue left in it. And I think she turned out great. Don't you guys think so? Yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye!